Okay, camera started. Great. And uh, today is... Okay. Today is 10.23 in the morning. Wait, yeah, 10.23 in the morning. Um, 5 April 2023. And I'm showing the YouTube people how I have attempted to service this Sony CFS F10. Okay, so I'll start with, no, not that, this here. Okay, so here's the front of the model, all right? And here's the top of it. And just briefly, it's got a power on and off switch, volume, balance, tone. And it's got your uh, normal and chrome tape, line in radio and tape, FM, stereo, FM, and AM, a mixing mic input, stereo light, and then over here it's got a power light, operation battery. Here's your eject button on, on, the, on the top. Okay. This is the back. It's got a full complement of line in and line out. All right. It takes six C batteries. Okay. And then there's the uh, detail on that. And then there's batteries that I had in it. And no batteries. There's a battery compartment. You can't see the terminals, but they're, they, they're clean enough to work. This has AC and DC input. It has your ISS right there. It has your external mic uh, left and right. And then you have headphone jack input. Okay. Then there's the bottom. No one takes a picture of the bottom, but there it is. And then we have inside the cassette deck well. I'll pay close attention. This is the switch that you need to depress if you want to operate the cassette deck controls without a cassette in it. You have to press that. That's how you make it work without a cassette in there. Okay. Then that's the. Let's see. Do we skip a page? No. Okay. So there are the screws. You take it out, and then okay. This is going too quick. Wait. My mouse is goofy. All right. Let's use the keyboard. It's more precise. Okay. So there's the back. The screws open, and then the, just the back comes off. All right. Now this whole thing is on a chassis. Okay, so uh, anyway, that's the back, and of course the that's the ground right there, and then so here is just that's your the screw is part of the uh, antenna contact with the main board. Okay, and then there's a picture of the back, right? And there's a picture of inside the back from the anyway, and then this is just a picture of the uh, okay. This is. This had belts in it, but this main belt was loose. Okay, so it, the motor would run, but it wouldn't uh, rotate. And anyway, and it's just a flash picture. And then here it is, um, opening it up. Okay, you basically have just your power, your uh, uh, speaker leads, and then you have your front panel uh, leads to just detach to separate the front from the back. And those are the, um, see, to get it out, you must remove the power switch button. You have to unclip that and uh, remove it to uh, take it out. And that's just a picture of this. Side. Okay, this is a picture of the, uh, you, just, you have to unclip the, uh, you have to unclip it right there from that side to get it out. Okay. And you have to take these out, these two. This has got seven pins, that's got six pins, so it's pretty easy to know which one goes where, all right? And then you have, again, just a flopped open picture. And then here's a picture of the front, again. Um, okay, this has, uh, let's see here. I didn't really take a picture of the speakers and tweeters, but there they are. It's a piezo tweeter with a, with a dome on it, so that's uh, unusual. And then there's the... Um, there's not much detail. Let's see. What does it say? Um, um, I can't really read that. Not important. Okay, but again, important is this is the switch right here. This is the lever, and that's the switch to make the cassette deck work uh, without a cassette in it. You have to push this down to push that switch in to make it work. Okay. There's the cassette deck. Okay. And then just an overview picture, and then here it is. You remove one screw, just one, and you can take the cover off. Okay, and now 
here is a belt that doesn't do anything. It's it's like a brake. Okay, so uh, this this doesn't do anything. It just rotates. Okay, but it's it's like a brake. Um, can't I'm not going to sit here and try to explain it why the brake is anyway. That's the tape counter. Okay, and that's not much to know here. Okay. And just another clearer picture. Um, I'll let you see the heads. There's that head and that head. Okay, so flip it upside down to see the other one. And then to remove the cassette deck, it's four screws. Okay, so there are the four screws. And then you can uh, carefully take the cassette deck out. Okay, and that's what it looks like underneath. Here's your recording bar switch and other whatever. Okay. This is the back side of that. Let me zip into the motor so you can see that. That's the motor. Okay. No date on there that I know of, but that's the model number. Okay. And this is part of your recording switch, which is driven off the flywheel gear. Okay. And that's again just the, um, uh, well, that's that. Okay. Then we have, now, this is where I took a bunch of pictures. Uh, just a picture of the top, picture, a close-up picture of the back. Um, there's two screws holding the motor and all of this on here. Just one screw here and one screw down, which you really can't see in this picture. And I, um, I, un I cut that off. That's not needed anymore. Okay, and then here's a picture. Okay, now this is where it gets confusing kind of for me, but we'll get to that later, maybe. Um, this has two drive belts that is driven um, off of the motor. And anyway, that's, 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 just, that's just a good view, good to know. Okay. Again, just another picture of, I don't know, just like that. And here's another good view of, of the top of the unit. And again, this had all its belts, but the main belt was loose. Okay. All right. And then another picture. Okay. And then another picture just for detail. To, this has a whole bunch of solenoids. There's one there, and there's another one over here. And um, this is the belt I think that's giving me the issue right here. This I think is the one. We'll get to that. All right. uh, this, is a, this is a picture from the front from the top. Again just showing everything. There's a, a flash picture. It was too bright. Oh well. And then we have, um, here's a good picture of the belt routing. Okay, so the motor the motor is here, and the belt comes off the motor, comes around this idler, okay, and then goes around the main flywheel, comes all the way back around the main flywheel, and then drives up the back side of this idler flywheel. The idler flywheel doesn't do anything, but it does drive yet another belt, which then drives this big white wheel over here, okay. So there's, there's, well, that's two of three belts, okay. All right, so then here's just end view of that. Um, again, here's the, let's see here. Well, you can't see, okay. This is the, yeah, I just, anyway. Uh, another picture, I don't know why, I just, I did. And then here's a picture of this end, which was not needed, but it's good to know, just in case you have an issue with something here. And then another angled picture of the same view. Okay. Um, all right. And then another picture of the back. <laughs> now here I'm showing, okay, here's the other screw that you need to remove. This screw, this black screw there, and then the... Um, not that screw, the, the other screw you can't see, but don't remove, you don't need to remove that screw, leave that there, okay? Um, all right, so there's another picture, okay. All right, so again, you can't see it, but it's this screw here, 
and then this bigger black screw you remove to remove the back of the unit and all this apparatus. Okay, just two screws. Right? So here we've removed the two screws and we're cracking it open until we take a picture. And this is when I learned that I wish I had taken a picture from the opposite side because that would have helped somewhat. But this secondary belt, again, this one right here, I think is the one giving me the issue, but I'm not sure. Okay, And that is driven solely directly off of the motor. Just this one belt driving this small gear here, or the small wheel, which is also has a gear driven on the back side and all that. So it's just that that's the third belt. You see, you have the third belt here. This is the secondary belt driving this bigger white gear, and then you have the main belt which drives uh, the flywheel here, which was loose. Okay. Uh, so here I've removed the I removed the smallest I removed the smallest belt from the top uh, one, which drives that gear or that pulley right there. Okay. So that's the first one I removed. And again, I wish I had a picture, well, anyway. So then here's another view of this. I wish I'd taken more pictures again, but this is showing where this secondary, or the, the main drive belt goes down here, around here, goes on the back side of this uh, flywheel, which doesn't do anything except drive the secondary white wheel and then goes, around, then goes almost completely around the main flywheel capstan and this gear here drives your uh, drives the uh, recording function thing. Okay, so now here we have removed the belt and you can see the belt is all bent or conformed to, to its whatever but so there's just an overview of that and then here we are, okay, and we're just showing that that belt has to go around this, um, has to go around that to, be, to, to work properly in the, in the unit. Now here's just a, um, holding up, here's the main flywheel, and this is what's underneath the flywheel. That's where the flywheel goes, okay, it goes in there. And again, I think this is the belt giving me, or this, item right here is the part that's not working or maybe I need to put a tighter belt in, I'm not sure. Okay. And then here's just another view of this big white gear being driven by the auxiliary flywheel which doesn't do anything except being driven by the main belt. Okay. And just another view of everything just because I can. Like I said, there's a couple of those uh, solenoids. Then here are all three belts removed. Uh, this is the belt I think that's giving me the... No, wait. Yeah, I think this is the belt that's giving me the issue. This one has been replaced. And that's the uh, belt that drives the big white gear. <laughs> okay, and then we measure the belt. So we measured... The old belt was... Um, Nearly 165 millimeters. I put in a, I put in a six-inch belt in its place. Okay, that worked. Then uh, we measured the secondary belt. It was just over four inches. I put in a four-inch belt. So the belt I put in was just a tad short than four inch. And then the smallest belt was a um, about. Well, it's just over 60, or just over six centimeters. So I put in one that was just at six centimeters. Maybe I need to put a smaller one in. I'm not sure. And then again, it's just measuring. Uh, yeah, I think I was okay. This is this is the belt I ended up putting in. I'm sorry if I said six inch. I put in maybe a five and three quarter inch belt. Okay. So then here is a picture of what? I, I think it's after I put the belts in. Okay. And then here is okay. Well, all right. So now here I've um let's see, I've unclipped the plunger for the door, obviously to get to this point. 
and now I've unclipped the um, I've unclipped the okay the the door cover does come off okay and then, then once you get the door cover off you can come in the back side here and you can un you can unclip push back on these this tab and this tab here and you can get gain access to that to blow to blow air through it okay you clean it out it had a lot of dust in there and here is I'm just showing you how the the front plastic cover door comes off you just push back gently on both sides and it'll come off and then here we are cleaning out the speakers just wanted to show you that the speakers did have a lot of dust in them okay uh, there's that side I had dust too and then just another view of the speakers um, and just more dust I'm sure you've seen speaker dust before okay and then we took it outside because we don't need to blow the dust around on the inside so we took them outside and cleaned them and that was the last picture. So now, now what I want to do is I want to, uh, let's see, zoom this out, right? So zoom this one out and pull this down here. And then because I got a Facebook thing going, I'm going to try and move the Facebook camera down to where y'all can, well, no one's watching this, okay. Move this down to here, okay. Yeah, that's, and then can I zoom in this a bit? Well, that's about, that's pretty close. All right. So we're going to do that. So now we're going to put power to this and show you what I know so far. Okay. All right, great. So let me, I can move this one down a bit more. Maybe zoom in a bit. Yeah, well, okay. Thereabouts. Okay, great. So now, okay. So now we have plugged this thing in. Okay. How do I do this best? Well, I guess I might just pick the whole thing up and put it in my lap. Okay. All right, we don't have the speakers plugged in, but let's see, I have to move this some more. Wait, where'd it go? It's in my lap. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not going to play the speakers, so I get, well, maybe I will, but in the meantime, I just want to show you that. Okay, so how do we do this? We got it plugged in. Okay. We have it on, doesn't matter on that. We have the tape off, and we have, um, okay, it's in the off position. The power button, for some reason, doesn't do anything now. It's got power since it's plugged in, so the, uh, can you see my finger? I can't see my finger. Um, let's see here. Yeah, this has got lot, This has got power to it for some reason I don't understand because uh, something is still funky in the tape deck, but I want to show you what does work in the tape deck, okay? So, uh, all right, so I'm going to, I need to wide this out, I guess. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, okay, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have my hand in the cassette deck well, and I'm going to depress the button with my finger, okay? I'm going to get, get my famous demonstration tape, I'm put it up here, and then we're going to find the, well, okay, maybe I may have to hit stop. Hit stop. Well, okay. Do I have to have the speakers? Okay, it is working. I hear, can hear it, but, all right. There we go. Maybe that was it. There we go. It went to play mode. Did you see that? So, there we go. See a tape deck rolling along? Here, maybe it's this light too bright. Maybe, I don't know. Just So, there it, it does that. It, that's, okay. And, well... Like I said, this thing is, there it goes, it still, it will rewind. It doesn't like to, it will go the other, it was going the other direction. Come on. Okay, the, well. Okay. It does that.
Well, okay. Anyway, the bottom line here is it 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 goes into play mode. The it runs for a, a few seconds and it shuts off because it won't. <coughs> All right, let's do this. Let me do this. Go back to the light. All right. Okay, I have to hit that to release the. Okay, hit stop. All right, let me do it like this. All right, let me take this out. And uh, okay, I know what I was doing. I was had my headlight on. That's right. So give me the headlight. All right, give me the headlight. There we go. So now depress this. All right. And then, okay, there's play mode, and it runs and stops. Okay, but now I want to show you if I put it back into play mode. Let's see here. Okay, you really can't see. I have to get close up with this. Wait, close up. All right, and uh, well, okay. Can we see my finger in the camera? Wait, where's my finger in the camera? I can't see my finger in the camera. Can't. Okay. Got to come out. Can you see my finger? Yeah. Okay. That's the flywheel right there. So I can't. Okay. Well, here's the thing. If I hit. Okay. There it is. That's. Uh, it's on and it stops on and it stops okay so and then if we put it to play all right play it okay it's in play mode let's say get out of play mode you have to hit uh rewind and the heads will drop and it'll play but it won't uh move anything and then if we put it in play Okay, if I put it in play and we rotate this, it will continue to play as long as I rotate this. And as long, because I'm rotating this, it's rotating the, um, it's rotating this, which has a LED indicator up underneath this belt. There's a little, uh, this has got, oh gosh. This has a proximity sensor or something like that. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's got a little LED and it reads the light pulses between this flywheel, which has intermittent uh, openings and closings on this little flywheel thing that drives the uh, uh, tape counter. Okay. And so it, as long as it sees that this reel is, is rotating, then the motor will continue to run in play mode. But in play mode, these reel will not turn at all. That's the whole issue. It will not turn at all. So it will, if I hit play, the motor will start running, but this won't turn. So it will, um, okay, the heads are up right now. It's in music search mode. Take it out of music search mode. That's right. Let's see here. Um, that doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, that's okay. Well, I'm having too much fun with this thing. What I'm trying to show you is that okay, there it's running, but it's not spinning. Wait, this won't rotate. I don't know why. See, I have it in fast forward mode, the motor's running, the flywheel is turning, and all that, but it's not turning. And when I stop doing that, then the motor stops, okay, because this is not turning, that's working. But it's not or anything. And if we hit uh, the other direction, this will rotate and then stop because it doesn't sense. This doesn't sense that this rotate. This will start, turn, rotate. And as long as there's tape in there, it'll rot. It'll rotate as long as this is rotating here because then that sensor shows that this is working. But as soon as this stops then the whole thing stops. Okay, that's all part of this logic stuff. Um, but in a bit, again, in play mode, if we hit play, 
You can watch the heads jump up. There they go. They jumped up. It's in play mode, but this is not turning, so the whole thing stops. So, to make the heads come down, I have to hit rewind. It will rewind, and come. the heads will come down, and then it'll stop because it doesn't sense this real turning. So this real turning, because of this sensor here, um, anyway, here I'll put it like this. If I put this tape back in, alright, put the tape back in and hit rewind, it'll do that. But as soon as I hit stop, anyway, anyway, so it'll work like that, but if I take the tape out, hit the same button, rewind, it'll do that and stop. Okay, so... Uh, that's why I hate these logic machines. But the bottom line here is that in play mode, this won't rotate by itself. So if I put a tape in, all right, put a tape in, I can do that because heads are down, all right, put a tape in, hit play, okay, hit play, heads come up, it starts to rotate. This reel doesn't rotate at all. So why it's not getting rotational power or whatever from inside the mechanism, I don't know if it's a belt, I don't know if it's a gear not going over or whatever, but that's the whole bottom line here. So I'm going to delve into this a little bit more and take the whole unit back apart again and check the tension on the belts and check the rotational ability of what uh, rotates this, whether it's via a gear or if it's via a, um, a belt directly, or just how, what powers it and what, what makes it rotate when it's in play mode. Okay, because it will rotate in uh, fast forward mode. <coughs> Shit, says here. It was doing it in fast forward mode previously, but let's see here, it won't. Okay. Um, yeah, there it's working in fast forward mode, but it's not rotating up here. And that's, that's because the heads are up. So if I take it out of that, hit stop, okay, hit stop, hit rewind, the heads come down, it does that, hit stop, hit fast forward. It, it's working, but it's working, but this reel isn't working. It did work a couple times before in the beginning, but now it doesn't do that at all. I don't know what the deal is. So I'm going to um, get back to it later on today. I have some other peoples that are interested in stuff. So I'm going to stop this, but I will just briefly plug in the speakers here. If I can get the speaker plug to go in. Good grief. Come on now. Well. Oh, such fun. Come on now. Okay. Yeah. There we go. Yay. Let me play the radio. That's all I got for sound, so. There's the radio. And one of the things that he knows that he can go out there and do is if I go out there and do my Works. job every single Radio time, wise. I'm going to get that opportunity to possibly get out there and start. Or if something does happen, he's going to be that guy to get called upon because... Well, anyway, the radio works. Tape deck does does rotate but doesn't work fully completely and so on and so forth so that's all I know about this one I do have another similar model this is a uh, what is this it's a CFS F10 I have a CFS F11 coming to me in a few days which is similar to this model just looks a little bit different it has a rectangular grills and it's auto reverse this is just a one direction only tape deck the one that's coming to me is a auto reverse tape deck with almost the same mechanism so it's going to be like oh my gosh I hope that one works somewhat better or 
Just I hope it works better. I hope it works. <laughs> Alright. Okay, well, this is I've had too much fun with this model here. Just trying to educate you all with what I got going on here. And just thought I'd show it to you at the point that I'm at. Alright, so good day. Bye-bye. Hope you enjoyed. Maybe if you all try to repair one of these, you can have better success at repairing them. Okay, well... This will stay here on my bench a little bit more because I still have this Iowa here to finish the Iowa CSJ50 which I put on the back burner because I want to do this one but this one may have to I mean like I said I'm going to do one to the tape deck one more time and see if I can understand what makes the take up reel rotate and if I can repair that great if not I'm going to just put it back together and say I'll sell it like it is radio works tape deck has all new sets of belts and yes, I still have the old belts. Here are the, here are the old belts right here. All, all of them. Okay. There are all the belts. All right. Anyway, too much fun. Good day, bye-bye. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. i got to move along and do something else. Okay, good day. Bye-bye. Hit, hit finish on this one here. Yeah, you didn't see that. Oh, well. Okay. All right. Well, okay, that. And then... Here, give me this out of here. All right, and then uh, see. So we're doing this, right? It's a uh, next. Never delete. Post a profile. Yay. Okay. Great. All right. So okay. So now, thanks for watching. Bye bye. Got to go. Do something else. Oh here, I'll just show you briefly. Three seconds worth. It's like, yep. <laughs> I still need to finish this. And finish that. All right, 32 minutes. Wow, long day. Okay. All right. Well, had too much fun. Bye bye.